Welcome duelists! You are joining us for your coverage of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel second anniversary Invitational. My name is Ed Templer and I'm very pleased to be hosting this Invitational for a second year in a row. <laughs> Here's where the fun starts. We are at Berlin Airport, just made our way through security control and we will be leaving to Malaga for the second year anniversary of Master Duel for the Invitational very very shortly and soon. Pretty funny thing right away, the guy that checked uh, me and my bags looked at my pullover, my hoodie, he was like, did you win any of those Challenger Cups by any chance? And I'm like, yeah, I did decently well in a couple of those and I'm on my way for another Master Duel tournament. And he was immediately giving me the good luck, so we have another supporter right from the airport. I like to be at the airport quite early, to be honest, because I get to fort my forts before the amazing stuff that is ahead of us and I get to think about what's ahead. And this time I'm very, very excited that I get to team up with Emre for Team Germany because he's one of the world champions, he's a, one of the GOATs in Marcelo right now. But that also means that the expectations for us as a team are going to be incredibly high and therefore I don't know uh, whether we will be able to fulfill that. Of course we will be trying and we test it quite a lot, but we will have to see whether that is going to be our weekend. We are going to do our best. Look at that, what a beautiful room we have. And even better, look at that view, oh baby. I guess it's time to win an Invitational, isn't it? Emre and I playing Snake Eye and also some Exosisters. I don't know whether we're really going to play that Exosister deck, but let's see. Team Germany, we have Emre, the Master Duel World Champion, part of the three who managed to take that down, including Joshua Schmidt and Quantil as well. And we also have one of my colleagues and brothers in arms for all of our YCS coverage. We also have Lampy, who's taking part. I finally get to all this. So guys, welcome Lampy and Emre! Yeah, so that's a, a key point of replays there. Uh, exactly. A couple of interactions some of you might recall throughout the uh, last couple of years. Forbidden Droplet acting in a similar way as well. Fuse it in the dra damage step, for Exa example. Yeah, that, that was a close there. Yeah. But yeah, that is the conclusion of our second duel of the day between Team UK and Team Germany. Let's have, uh, let's have a little talk about that. All right, from the venue, actually, first round already played out. We did get to play against the UK team. We did lose the coin toss. And we opened Imperm and Droll, so it would have been alright. But their hand was really awkward, so we didn't really get to even use Imperm or Droll, and we just kept it in our hand. And uh, it was Team UK actually deciding to play Brandon, which was pretty unexpected for us. Like, nobody really thought that they would be the one on Brandon. I would have expected maybe one Brandon deck to be around in the competition, but uh, not really from the UK team. And uh, they passed on just uh, a Katesia, a Quem, and a set card. And that set card turned out to be Super Polymerization, which was uh, the deal breaker. We couldn't really play through that. We didn't have enough to make it work. And therefore, we lost the first round, and we now have to work ourselves back into this win three in a row to hopefully make it into the finals. Let's do this. A lot of stuff happening on that one turn. Uh, and that was that was a that was cool to watch. That like was that. that was our best match today, 100 percent That was really, really cool. And it was the snake eye mirror out of all things. Yo, second game is over. 
we actually managed to do something that is pretty insane and uh, you guys know I love to spend all of my timer and we even have double the timer for this invitation we have 600 seconds but we went second in the snake eyes mirror and uh, yeah we passed on one second on the second turn we opened no interruption on the first one uh, on the first turn so no maxi no ash no nothing and we played for a really long time but it didn't matter they still uh, managed to OT chaos on the crackback, so it is what it is. 0-2, let's just win the last two and pray, I guess. Right, this game would have been very different if my opponent didn't have the good card. <laughs> well, there it is, Team Italy are taken down by Team Germany, who right. have not won a game with Snake Eye. <laughs> But 100% winner with Exosister, isn't yeah. that something? Exosister is what is uh, dominating this. Despite the double Michaelis at the end, just before we got on camera, you just went, we had an oopsie there. Talk us through what was going on. I think Lampy can explain it better than I can do. So, Exosister best deck. We did win with the Exosisters in round three versus Team Italy. We really pulled through, opened the shifter, and uh, they couldn't really do anything because they were on Snake Eyes originally. We decided to play that deck to counter Labyrinth, which is their second deck, but they just played Snake Eyes, which would have been perfect against our call. But we were like on a little bit of a high roll momentum there because we were like, we kind of have to gamble a bit here to just maybe pull it out again. It worked out. We did win, even though it was Snake Eyes, so. Let's win the last one and then maybe with some luck make it to the finals. Who knows? Fingers crossed. We are heading into the final stages of our round robin uh, tournament stage uh, with round number nine and Team Spain Netherlands facing off against Team Germany. One and two record, we're able to win that one game with the Exosister deck. Uh, both of them kind of need to win this to have a real shot at making it to the finals. I think definitely Spain Netherlands want to win this one as we bring up the scores for you yep. here. Game. The Magnificas Pro can not looking not no, looking no, great. They can attack twice. They can attack twice. Uh, this is yeah, that's a lot of damage, and this is the final blow here. Okay, the set card is a wanted that they know about. So, yes, that is Spain without the S. What can I say? Spain, he just he just he he just hits different with Exo Sister. Congratulations, Basti. I just heard you at the end going, beating Quantal is all that matters. What, did you or did you not say that from your mouth? I totally said that, and I feel very, very good that we did it. And I mean, we redeemed ourselves now. Losing the first two, but coming back, just playing Exorcisters. And I just said to Emery, we should have just done it all the way. We should have brought Exorcisters all the way. We did come back. We did beat the El Guardian Celta and Quantal team with Exorcister again. So 2-0 uh, with Exorcister so far. And that now makes a completely absurd situation because we are going to have to play a tie-breaking match to see whether we're going to make it into the um, finals, which would be insane. We have the tiebreaker locked up, and right now it's France playing versus the UK. And if the UK win, we just play versus Quantal again, and the winner goes into the finals. If the France team wins, then it's actually going to be three of us competing for the one spot in the finals, because we, UK is through anyways. But uh, yeah, let's hope we make it. Axe sister, all the way. Pension duelists, it all comes down to this at the second anniversary Master Duel Invitational. We're finally at the final, which means it's time to announce the two teams who are going to be going head to head in a best of three to decide who's going to take it. We can get a quick German audio really quick to uh, get our coverage on the way here for this yes. matchup. If we could listen into the table here and see. Uh, what they're discussing for their opening plays. It is <laughs> German Exosisters. They went through all Ooh. the calculations. They went through the calculations to activate Martha. <laughs> and the UK goes undefeated, not dropping yeah. a single game, both in best of three and for the entire event. Yeah. 6 0. Oh. The final has been decided. Team UK have taken it, but this is a friendly event, and obviously we have some ceremony to go through. So please welcome to the stage, Team Germany, our second place, I almost said winners, our second place victors here at the Invitational. Guys, you played amazingly, especially when you swapped up the deck halfway through, started steamrolling. Didn't quite pay off for you in the final, but do you feel that you put in a good effort regardless? 
we just stuck to the call at that point. We were changing over to Exo Sisters, so we were like, okay, from now on in, this, in the finals, it's only going to be Exo Sisters. Didn't work out for the finals, but still, I think it was worth changing with Ak in the end. Did you enjoy yourself? I know it's no world championships, but did you still have fun, Emre? I really had fun. Um, after losing both two, I was kind of like upset. But um, yeah, what I learned from this is to never give up. Never give up. That's a great thing for all of you to take away from this. Guys, congratulations on second place for the Invitational. You do both have a trophy, so I'm going to invite Ibris over, my co-host for this month in Master Duel. <laughs> Tune in next month. But Ibris, do you have anything to say to our wonderful competitors? Just congratulations for second place at the second anniversary Invitational. Yeah, it's kind of apt, isn't it? Second for second. Well done, guys. One trophy for you, and we have a second trophy coming over as well for both of you. Congratulations. Rounds of applause for Team Germany taking that second place. Congratulations, guys. I will let you guys come and stand over on this side next to Ibris.